What's going on, you chicken strips, Nutella minions? It's Linux MLG right here with a vlog explanation explaining what happened with my team, New Limit. And yeah, so basically, uh, I know a lot of you that watch my videos don't follow me. So if you really want to know what exactly happened, you can go to Twitter. You don't have to follow me if you want to just look through just some uh, tweets I posted, then you can go right ahead. So this is basically for people that know who I am, uh, want to know really what what's going what's going down. So. Anyways, as you guys know, Niagara is in a few days, and I'm still going. Don't worry about it. But uh, my team multiple times has asked me, um, you know, are you going? Like, how are you getting there? Who's giving you a ride? Uh, where are you staying? Like, I told them every time I'm staying at your hotel. Um, I'm if I can't get a ride from a friend, I'm going. My mom is bringing me, and which now it's just I'm just going by myself if they can't bring me. So I'm going 100%. And I, I bought a passport. I guess that just means that when you buy a passport, you're just staying in the same country. I, I don't, maybe you need a passport to walk around your house nowadays. I, to be honest, I don't know what, why they thought that I might have been frauding. But that was part of the reason that they dropped me was because they thought that I wasn't going. And he, when he kick chatted me saying that, like, on some miracle, if you go, I know another team that needs one. On some miracle. So clearly they thought I wasn't going. Again, I, I have no idea. So, moving on, just anyways, it, I was with New Limit. I, I think I might have said that. Duffy, Kensty, Chance, I know you probably never heard of them. I never heard of them before I joined the team, and no one I knew knew of them before I joined the team. And I'm not saying that I'm known. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that they weren't known before I was on the team by anyone I knew or me. So, that's just what I'm saying. And, um, and so... Uh, basically, I was never really 100% comfortable with the team. Not, I, I, you know, I liked Kensty for a while. I'll get into that. Chance started to get on my like bad sides as as time went on, and and um and Deffy. I'm just trying to not say their actual names. Anyways, Deffy. I he was he started off with this 24/7 sarcasm thing that I just hate like when when I over exaggerate something and then they're like oh that's impossible dude that can't and it's like I over exaggerated something it's like all right dude cool you can't be serious that's fine I mean I, I could be mature if you can't that's fine but um anyways <clears throat> uh so I never really had a good relationship with Duffy Chance again like I said started to dwindle and then Ken Steve was fine for a while and I was planning to leave this team so, so far you know away dude uh, you can ask Ayers, Prayer, Monster, Finesse like so many people anyone I was talking to a party with people that asked me like if I was on a team I told them that like wait till after uh, Niagara I'm not gonna be on a team anymore and um, and it was just because I wasn't 100% comfortable, and and people will probably tell me like, it it's stupid, like don't ever join a team that you're not 100% comfortable with, and that's 100% true. And I was stupid for joining, but it was my decision. It was stupid, and I I have to live with it now with the consequences that I did, and um. And so <clears throat> I'm not the type of person that just gives up on someone. If I don't like something, doesn't mean I'm just going to give up on it. I'm going to keep going, and maybe it'll work out in the future. So maybe I thought, you know, they would line up, whatever. Now, another part, other than them thinking that uh, I might not have gone, is that I rage online a lot, and I do. And everyone knows it. And you could tell me I do, and you could laugh at me for it. And, I, dude, if I listen to myself, I guarantee you I laugh, too, because I think raging videos are hilarious. And, <clears throat> um... I try to stop it, dude. Every every day, I tell myself, like in my mind, I'm just like, I'm not gonna rage and stuff. And they even, uh, Ken Steve even tweeted when I play. Basically, said when we play someone that mattered, that I didn't, that I didn't complain. Were the only times I didn't complain. So TGA Savage, when we played EXS, I didn't complain. And not to say that all TS is, they're this TS in general doesn't matter. I'm not saying that. It's just that like. When we're playing teams that accomplish things on land and that are known, like it, you get a better rep for beating them and stuff. And I, that's when I like take it one hundred percent serious, and it's like you know what, I'm going. We're gonna go hard. Like I'm not gonna complain. And not to say any of these other teams that I played aren't good. I'm not saying that. It's just that I don't know how you play on land. Like people got in some arguments with me. I would never tweet at them. They would come to my Twitter, and they would start talking shit. If I call someone warrior doesn't mean I'm saying you're bad on land. 
how can I say you're you're a bad player if I've never ever seen you play on land? I can't say that. I if I call someone a warrior, it just means that you have got internet. That's all. And I have shit internet. So most people are gonna be warriors to me. So don't take it so fucking personal. Like you got you gotta chill with that stuff. And um and so that that kind of thing is like I'm not one to take out anything like in a personal basis. It's not that situation where it's like oh he talks shit online, then he gets to land in your front. No, it's just like because online when I'm mad I don't take that shit serious. I don't hold a grudge forever and when we get to land and just hate you. Doesn't like I'm not that type of person. Um, but <clears throat> so yeah, I rage and I try to stop and I have to stop no matter what my excuse is. You know. It's just when when I play a team that I know that even if we didn't win on land, we would be close to, and I die in two bullets by K7 or whatever, I get pissed. I'm sorry. It's it's me, and I'm going to stop it. I will stop it. And so, um, yeah, then, so, <clears throat> um, sorry, I'm just trying to kind of think of everything uh, of the reasons. So those were pretty much the two reasons. I I know there's another reason they think that I made stupid plays, which was which is hilarious because apparently a smart play to them is on Warhawk and Octane to take a bomb to have chance to take a bomb by himself and push a by himself while the rest of us are at B. That's a smart play because if he dies and bombs down, I mean that's that's great. Oh, but they told me like no, don't worry. By the time you know if they get bombed down. It, we're gonna be over there already. <laughs> nice, thanks. That it, any good team that we're playing, that's not gonna work against. I'm sorry. An octane was just what blew my mind that we tried doing it on octane. We couldn't win any, any S and D. Any S and D. It wasn't just octane. We couldn't win any S and D against anybody. So you think that it's a smart strategy to come up with to run A by yourself? Because he gets on the flank of almost every time on them. So this, so he'll just go to A-bomb and just plant it instead of flanking him. I'm sorry, to be honest, I played at UMGL the other day. played someone that tried to kill me in Green Hut and Sovereign um, with an LMG when I had a sub. I killed one of his players with a sub and he, I juked him. He pushed me though with an LMG in Green Hut. Which one is more clueless? Comment below to... to <laughs> because they're both clueless. Uh, I I don't know. And you know, I did have a hard time hearing sometimes, but I'm the type of person like when I'm in the zone, I kind of drown out things. And it is bad, like especially for something like Call of Duty where communication is key. But it wasn't like so. It wasn't like I missed a call out that made us lose a game. That's not what happened. And there were some gunfights like on everyone's part that if they lost, it could have changed the game. Anybody's parts. And if it really, I thought really felt like it was my part, I said, oh. The game would have changed if I won that. Like, that was stupid. And I said it. And, you know, it, it just... It, um, I don't... Three days before Niagara, it just kind of blows my mind. And everyone I know sees them as scum, scumbags now. It's so funny. And, um... So, there's one time where, uh... Where Ken D... Someone posted a serious tweet. Ken D didn't know it. So, he tweeted out... Um, he tweeted out something like that said, it's like, if my friend doesn't get better, I'm going to quit. God, that's what someone said. And Kenzie made a joke about it, not knowing that it was like 100% serious. <clears throat> and so, like, he apologized and everything. And I told, I, I tweeted out, I was like, yo, Kenzie's a really good guy. He, if he knew it was serious, he never would have joked about it. He's too, like, good of a person to do that. He's not like that. And, you know, he just started kind of getting on the edge when we were screaming, like, he started saying, you know, fuck the God community, dude, I don't like anyone in, the, in this community except my team, like, that's it. He was unfollowing people that he was good friends with before in the community, and he, he just, when we were playing Diamond, he tweeted out, like, zero respect for you guys, like, you're the only team that I'm gonna, um, talk shit at when we play you guys on land like it's stupid stuff it was, it was honestly dumb and then it came to a point where on blitz octane he um that he got in an argument with Duffy and and because he was in a position because me and him ran ar on this one side and he watched mid but from a position that Duffy didn't think was a smart position so they were arguing about it because Duffy has his ideas that he thinks he's the smartest person in the game and he thinks chance alongside him is the smartest person in the game never 
says anything to Chance ever about any play, and vice versa. And so, though, Steffi was saying stuff to Kenzie. Kenzie comes back, he's like, yo, I'm not John. I know what I'm doing, I'm not stupid. And again, like what I said, the examples before with their strategies, sounds pretty stupid to me. I mean, maybe it's not your strat, but you're not that smart. I mean, things you do, like, we couldn't beat teams we should have beat. There are so many pickup teams we played. <laughs> we lost to it. It's just, we get destroyed by it. was just so funny. It, it, this is actually good for me, though, because then I, I know that they're going to do really bad, and I'm not trying to be mean to them. When I was on the team, we were probably going to do bad, too. And thanks for everyone that's tweeting to me, you know, um, yo, John, like, like, good luck, John and Niagara, like, like they're scumbags like and some pe and a bunch of people tweeted out just like Linux got dropped oh well there goes there <laughs> there they go they're gonna lose the first round now like there's no way they're gonna get the past the first round without Linux and that shit makes me feel so much better dude like it it's so it's it's just it's funny to see and they tweeted out some that said eh, finally we dropped someone before they left that's really the only tweet. I should screenshot that forever, like, and keep it forever, because that just, you're just calling your team bad. Like, everyone leaves your team, and I was planning on leaving so far away. Like, so technically, you, you never dropped anyone that really, that wanted to be on your team. It, it's just, I don't know, it's funny. I, I didn't really partake in kick chats they had, just because, I, like, again, I, there was nothing persuading me to really pursue a, a relationship with them. And it's just what happened. I know this video is really long, and I'm sorry for that. But uh, I hope you guys understand now for those that needed to understand. And I'm sorry it took so long. See you later, guys. Peace.